Hello guys, in this video we'll do a transition that normally I do in camera, but sometimes you forget, and that doesn't mean that you lost it. So let's do this whip and transition. Intro. Okay guys, we have here these two videos, this beautiful little monkey, <laughs> and then if we come in the other video, we have the same monkey with the mom. So what we are going to do is a transition in between these two videos. First thing to do to start with this uh, whip transition is to create an adjustment layer, and we're gonna put it here on the top. And now we're gonna maximize a little bit the space so we can see what are we going to do, okay? Now my way of doing it, and I see many people do it the same way, is going to the center in between where the transition is gonna happen. And we go five frames to the left and 10 frames to the right. So in this case, pressing shift and moving the cursor to the left, you jump exactly five frames. So you can come here to the adjustment layer and just adjust it exactly there where we want it. Now we do the same, we come back to the middle and then we do one and two. So we have 10 frames in the right side and we just pull the adjustment layer exactly where we want it. Now what we're going to do is to add some effects here in the adjustment layer. The first effect is gonna be called offset. If you click offset, you're gonna find it. And it's over here, offset. And we just pull it there on the adjustment layer. Now we come here to the effects. We go to the offset, as you can see here. Now this video is 1920 by 1080, and that's why you can see here the center is going to be exactly the half of both uh, numbers. So it's 960 and 540. Now we're going to create here a frame, a key frame. There you go. We can put it in the beginning. Let's put it a little bit forward, not exactly in the beginning. Now we go to the end of the adjustment layer, okay? And then we do the same a little bit before the, the end, not at the end, a little bit before the end, like here, I think it would be okay. And we're gonna do exactly the opposite of this. Instead of 960, we go to minus 960, okay? Let's type it down to make it faster. And there you go. If we move to the video, we can actually see how the, the movement is, no? Like it's all the video is sliding to the side, no? That's the offset. Okie doke, now we need to do a blur, okay? So let's come here to effects again and let's look for directional blur. Direct, and it's coming here, directional blur. We add it here. Now, this is very important. We want the maximum blur to be exactly in the middle. So let's go to the middle here, exactly in between these two videos. That's the middle. So we're coming back here and we're gonna put a hundred here, okay, in the blur. And let's create a keyframe. There you go. So this is going to be the maximum blur that is gonna happen exactly here in the middle. Now you can see that the blur is up, down, or down, up. We don't want that because the video is sliding to the sides. So what we're going to do with the blur is we're gonna change the direction so we can put 90, it's like 90 degrees, and it's gonna go to the sides. Now you can see the blur is to the sides, but, but we are in the top of the maximum blur that is exactly here in the middle. So let's go to the beginning of the video and let's reset this. And you can see that a keyframe was created, but with the blur reset it, so in zero. So at the beginning, it's going to be zero, and then it's gonna to start to go up, up, up in the blur until it reaches the 100. And then I want it to go down, 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 down until it reaches the zero again. So let's go here towards the end of the video, and let's put zero. So now basically we have from zero to 100, from 100 to zero. Now, something I wanna do now before we finish, because believe it or not, it's done. We finished the effect. One thing I always do is use the interpolation, okay? So you're gonna right click here. You're gonna go to temporal interpolation and you're going to go to easy out because the effect is coming out of this point and coming in this point. So what we're gonna do here, Temporal interpolation, of course, we have to do easy in. And now the effect is not gonna be that strong, like boom, it's gonna be soft, it's gonna go soft. Now we're gonna do the same here, easy out, and here in this one, we're going to put easy in, okay? And there you go, we are done. Let's see how we have our effect. 
Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and you can also follow me on Instagram, I'm posting all the time. And if you want to support me so I can keep creating videos like this, I'm gonna leave you a link in the description below where you can actually buy me a coffee. And don't forget that I have a Premiere Pro Masterclass with more than 4 hours of lessons with everything in detail. So I will leave you the link in the description below. Until next time.